Alright guys, back in the shop with the Urban Turner today. I'm going to give you a big clue. I went on Amazon today and looked at a remote switch for the 3520, which is the Powermatic that I have. It's $116 for the remote switch. I'm going to show you how to make one of your own for about $20. You're going to need four different things. Uh, one, this is my remote switch right here. You're going to have to go to Home Depot and get what's called a wet housing. This is a, a toggle switch here for a regular household switch on the inside. This toggle switch goes up and down to switch it on and off. But it, what you're looking for at Home Depot is called a wet condition toggle switch housing. Okay, They can help you with that to get you what you need. Um, I painted mine and went ahead and made this red I like all my switches to be red. This one, the name of this one is Taymac. T-E-Y-M-A-C. They got a couple of different kinds there for you. Then what you're going to need is you're going to need this clamp on the back side. And you'll notice that the clamp is somewhat special in that it has a rubber, um, almost like a gasket on the inside of it. When you tighten this down, it tightens the rubber gasket around the outside of the rubber cord so that that's uh, dust free on the inside. Also this is made for wet conditions so this seals really well around the outside and keeps the dust out too. So those two things work together to keep your um, connections clean on the inside. Then you go to Northern Tool and Equipment. I'm sure they have it in other areas but I got mine at Northern Tool and you get this big magnet. Now this magnet is designed for working with um, uh, welding situations and it only costs about three dollars and that has a big bolt on the inside that you might have to drill a hole in this I don't remember um, but you put that on the back and then I, I did uh, put some glue on the inside here some epoxy around the inside so that this doesn't rotate and move at any time so that's solidly on there and this is a great great magnet you do need one about this size uh, it's a good solid magnet it attaches anywhere and even with the biggest vibration on the lay that it will not move on you Okay, so that I keep right there, usually right on top of my uh, tailstock, or else I'll put it, situation is right, I'll put it right down there uh, at the end of the banjo here, uh, so that can switch it on and off. Okay, you'll also need the cord, 14 gauge, two line cord, you don't need any, uh, you, all you need is a, a black and a white inside there, because of course this, it goes off the switch, which we'll see in a minute and that's already grounded so all you need is a two line cord um, a 14 gauge and I get a rubber outside on it because it it's a, keeps it a lot looser than having the plastic on the outside okay let's go around to the other side I'll show you how to hook it up what you do is you take and attach the cord right through the back where the cords are coming out in the back of the headstock here and oh, need a little smaller size here and this is your switch here. Just go ahead and take the top screw and the bottom screw out on your switch. And of course we got it unplugged so we're all safe. And here's your switch. Now, this is the part right here. This is the cord right here that came through. You see a black line and you see a white line. The white one goes on the switch right here on the top on the back you'll see that it loosens up with just a regular uh, screwdriver and take this out and you'll take a fork uh, end which is this blue right here a fork connector and it connect it to the wire and put that down in so that the both whites are connecting in the same area the black that you see right here from, from my remote switch, the black line connects to the blue that used to be connected down here. So now the blue is connected to the black, the whites are connected together, and that, that uh, connects the circuit. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that back in. Connect that back up. And you got your remote switch. Now the nice thing about the remote switch is that you're able to, or the nice way about setting it up like this that I'll show you in a second is that if the remote switch is on with this kind of electrical setup on the inside 
uh, you're able to still use you're able to still use the on off switch on this end and I'll demonstrate that in just a second all right good we're all connected up back together again and so here's my remote switch over here on this side and you'll notice that if I have my remote switch on and I pull this let me go ahead and plug in here to give you a little demo here with that electrical setup and connection on the inside if this remote switch is on and I pull this out it will it will be able to I'll be able to shut it off and turn it on on this end if this remote switch is on then I'll be able to use my switch on and off on this side, which I get in the habit of just using the remote switch wherever that might be. Okay? Thanks for stopping in to the Urban Turner. Have a great day.